Hey everyone, welcome to Nuts and Bolts. I'm Joseph and I'm here to help you identify and learn about parts commonly used in everyday household appliances. For years, we've had the luxury of having hot water in our homes, allowing us to take our showers, do our dishes, and wash our clothes. The first water heaters were invented in the 1860s, allowing for the widespread domestic use of storage water heating. There were plenty of flaws in these first models, however. They were fueled by gas and had no method of ventilation, so they ran the risk of leaking carbon monoxide. Over the years, safer models were developed, and with the increasing use of electricity within society's infrastructure, electric water heaters became another popular option. Today we're looking at a part called the heating element. It's found in the electric water heater. This is the actual part used to heat the water. Without it, your electric water heater would not be capable of heating water, rendering it just a water tank. You can get to this part through the access covers found on the side of your water heater. There can be one or even two depending on your model. They generally last years depending on the mineral content of your water. It's important to flush your water heater yearly. Not only will you get the optimal performance from your element, but you will also get the most out of your tank life. Now here's a tech tip for you. When you need to replace this part, make sure your tank is completely full before turning on the power. The water keeps the element from overheating and rupturing. If you guys have any questions about your heating element, feel free to drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. I'm Joseph and this is Nuts and Bolts.